But I can only tell you what I already told our friend. There's no one to talk to. Could I come to the Florida? The Florida is closed. I would do whatever you suggest. I have no suggestions, Counselor. We, we could meet someplace. We're meeting now. <laughs> I'm not sure you understand my position. But I do, Counselor. Actions create consequences which produce new worlds, and they're all different. Where the bodies are buried in the desert, that is a certain world. Where the bodies are simply left to be found, that is another. And all these worlds, heretofore unknown to us, they must have always been there, must they not? Did you say something? I don't know what I was saying. Counselor, at some point. You have to acknowledge the reality of the world that you're in. There is not some other world. This is not a hiatus. A hiatus. Como? I believe the word is hiatus. Can you spell that for me, please? H. I. A T U S. I thank you, Counselor. Will you help me? I would urge you to see the truth of the situation you're in, Counselor. That is my advice. It is not for me to tell you what you should have done or not done. The world in which you seek to undo the mistakes that you made is different from the world where the mistakes were made. You are now at the crossing and you want to choose, but there is no choosing. There's only accepting. The choosing was done a long time ago. Are you there, Counselor? Yes. I don't mean to offend you, but reflective men often find themselves at a place removed from the realities of life. In any case, we should all prepare a place where we can accommodate all the tragedies that sooner or later will come to our lives. But this is an economy few people care to practice. Do you know the words of Machado? I know his name. Caminante no hay camino, se hace camino al andar. Lovely poet. Machado was a school teacher, and he married a young, beautiful girl. And he loved her very much, and she died. And then he became a great poet. I'm not going to become a great poet. Well, perhaps not, but even if you were to do so, it would not help you. My child would have traded every word, every poem, every verse he ever wrote for one more hour with his beloved. And that is because when it comes to grief, the normal rules of exchange do not apply because grief transcends value. A man would give entire nations to lift grief off his heart, and yet you cannot buy anything with grief because grief is worthless. Why are you telling me this? Because you continue to deny the reality of the world you're in. Do you love your wife so much, so completely? that you would exchange places with her upon the wheel. And I don't mean dying because dying is easy. Yes, yes, Samuel. you. Well, that is good to hear, Counselor. What do you say? Are you saying this is a possibility? No. It's impossible. You said I was that man at that crossing. Yes. At the understanding that life is not going to take you back. You are the world you have created. And when you cease to exist, this world that you have created will also cease to exist. But for those 
with the understanding that they're living the last days of the world. Death acquires a different meaning. The extinction of all reality is a concept no resignation can encompass. And yet, in that despair, which is transcendent, you will find the ancient understanding that the Philosopher's Stone will always be found despised and buried in the mud. This may seem a small thing in the face of annihilation until annihilation occurs. And then all the grand designs and all the grand plans will be finally exposed and revealed for what they are. And now, Counselor, I have to go because I have to make other calls. If I have time, I think I'll take a, a small nap. <laughs>